Hey everybody, Argolfump here, playing Nancy Drew, the Deadly Device. I'm sorry to say this, but today has just been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Things are not working out for this video walkthrough. You know, YouTube rejected video number 9 15 times in a row. Then I accidentally deleted my save file, so I sort of had to replay the entire game. And, um, to make matters worse, video number 11, this video right here, it disappeared! It just got up and walked away when nobody was paying attention! So, now I have to re-record this video! And I have no idea what I did in this video, I think I did the book puzzle. This puzzle appears in Ellie's area, uh, after you go through the air ducts, and basically you want to go around and find books and decode clues. So, for example, Sagramore's fellow knight, right over here. Then he is weaponless, said the king. Sir Sagramore, ye will grant him leave to borrow. And I will lend, said Sir Launcelot, limping up. He is as brave a knight of his hands as any that be on live, and he shall have mine. So, uh, Sir Launcelot clearly has a funny voice, and he is clearly the answer to this clue, Sagramore's fellow knight. Uh, another clue, right over here. V equals IR, that's Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's find the other clues. And I think that's it. I have no idea what else I'm gonna do in this video, uh, cause I don't remember what happens. Uh, yeah. I mean, video number 12 starts with me right here, after I've solved the book puzzle. So clearly, I just solved the book puzzle at the very end of video number 11. So, um, you know, but solving the book puzzle isn't going to take up a whole video. Okay, so this book is going to tell us Tesla's good friend and the incorrect radio patent holder. Incorrect radio patent holder right over here, Mark Coney. Good friend, Mark Twain. Do, 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 do. Let's go over here. Do, 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 um, let me see. Tungsten, W. Tungsten is element number 74. And, um... Oh, man. Yeah, not, not a very good day. I, you know, I also was gonna go out bowling with my friends, and I showed up, and they totally ditched me. Nobody showed up. I had to play alone. It was just very sad. The condemned elephant's name is Topsy, and, um, the 1893 Columbian Expo site is, uh, Chicago. Chicago. Maybe that's where my friends were, you know? They, they went to Chicago. To, uh, you know, check out the, uh, Columbian Expo site with Grover Cleveland. Maybe, you know, I, they should have sent me a text message or something, though. Anyway, condemned elephant's name. Topsy. Then we have Ohm's Law. Then Mark Twain. Then we have the Tungsten Divide. Then we have Marconi. Uh, Chicago. And, uh, Guinevere and Lancelot. Lancelot. Okay, so, that's it. That's that's the book puzzle. And, um, yeah, so video number 12 starts here, so clearly, um, I have to do something, but I don't know what. Let's just spend the next, uh, you know, let me see, six minutes talking to Deirdre. Let's do phone calls. I don't want this to be like a four minute video. It's it, it's already a depressing video, so I don't want it to be just four minutes of me being depressed. I want it to be ten minutes of me being depressed. So, everybody, everybody, we're going to talk to Deirdre and make this video longer. I don't know who to focus on now that Ryan's been cleared. I can't help you there. Whoever did this was very calculating. It's sort of too bad that the rest of your suspects are scientists. Yes, scientists are very calculating. They're always playing with their calculators and things like that. Hmm, scientists. Maybe that's what my friends were doing, you know? Instead of going bowling, they were just at home playing with their calculators. Way too busy, uh, you know, playing on their TI-83s to actually, you know, talk to me and hang out. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were starting to enjoy working with me. No. It's just that I'm bored, and I'm completely out of episodes of TDPD. 
TDPD? Is that a... What is that? The best show on television. Ever. And you've never heard of it? Nancy, he was a linebacker and now he's a crime tracker. Ring a bell? Officer Downs? Anything? Sorry, never heard of it. Sometimes it's like you live on Mars. Okay, okay, Officer Downs, so he was a linebacker? Oh, what a great name for a football player, Officer Downs. Well, uh, I, I guess he wasn't an officer when he was a, a football player, but what if his first name is Touch? So he'd be Touch Downs, the famous, the famous, famous football player. I'm a little stuck on the case. And you called me? That's a bad sign. Oh, come on, Deirdre, you could at least try to help. Do you know how to fix a musical Tesla coil? Yes. Really? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I thought you said, should I let you get back to what you were doing? Oh, oh, burn. I got a text from Ryan. Did you give my number away? No, no. I did post it online, like a whole bunch. What? Why? Because I assumed it would be hilarious. Don't lecture me or anything, because my dad already did, and that totally counts. Ryan must be good with computers, because that was a while back. I am frankly surprised it took you this long to figure it out. Hmm, you know, I wonder if Nancy has been getting, like, you know, crank phone calls this whole time, and they just cut it out of the game. I need you to check on 911 calls the night of the murder. Consider it done. I'll text you the results. Oh, uh, uh Deirdre... Deirdre, I wasn't finished talking to you. Don't hang up. There, Don't hang up. Girl. Don't hang up, Deirdre. Don't hang up on me. You're not going to hang up on me, too. This has already been a bad enough day. And now Deirdre hangs up on me because she doesn't like me. <laughs> oh. oh, you know, just forget it. What do you know about surveillance video? That you watch it? Have you heard of cases where the video has been faked? Oh, yeah. All the time. How can you tell if the video's been edited in some way? It's getting harder and harder to tell. But the number one thing you need to do is to make sure that you've got the original video feed. If you don't, analyzing the data file isn't going to do you much good. Is there a way to know if I have the original? Yeah, that's the detective part. Not in my wheelhouse. In her wheelbarrow, though, huh? Huh? Yeah, I don't know what that phrase means either. Someone knocked me out and locked me in the photo lab. That is the least shocking thing ever. You do realize that, right? I suppose that's what I get for calling you with this problem. Yeah. Hey, you know, you should volunteer at one of those neurological study places. Because you have been knocked out a lot, my friend. I'll keep that in mind. Maybe not the safest place to keep it, in your case. Aw, she said my friend. I think she likes me. Goodbye. Hang on. Hooray! There's an actual girl who likes me. Oh, I guess not an actual girl. Maybe more like, you know, a made-up girl. Yeah. Now I'm depressed again. Nancy, Frank was just talking about you. Oh, yeah? Is that so? Just recounting the time. So, how are you? How's Colorado? Sciency. Awesome. Not bad. I want to catch you up on the case. Give us the deets. Joe, there's already a word that means what you're trying to say. Frank, it's a language, not a museum. Tear down the velvet rope standing in the way of your word imagination. <sighs> Joe. Sorry, Nancy. Please go ahead. I was called in to solve a cold case murder. Whoa, a murder? I am flabber worried. Isn't that a little on the dangerous side? It might be. I wish we could be there to help. Where are you? We're on a submarine. Well... Currently, it's a boat, but intermittently, it's a submarine. What are you doing on a submarine? It's sort of a long story, and we're still putting the pieces together. Not gonna lie, Nancy, it's some pretty sweet stuff. Crime syndicates, pirate treasure, and there's some talk of pirate ghosts. But no confirmations as of yet. But fingers crossed. More importantly, tell us about you. Uh... You know, I'm sort of wondering how Frank and Joe managed to talk to Nancy. Uh, I mean, obviously they're using a phone, but do they just pass the phone back and forth between each other? Or, or do they just both get really, really close to the phone and talk at the same time? 
Or does she have it on speakerphone? Yeah, they probably have Nancy on speakerphone. Okay, yeah, that, that makes more sense. Actually, you know, I kind of like the idea of them passing the phone back and forth between each other. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. Let's go with the ridiculous story. Okay, here's the full scoop. Victor, the lab owner, called me in to help solve a cold case. Why did he call you? Isn't this a job for the police? Well, that's the thing. The police hit a dead end, and Nico, the researcher who was killed, all of his papers were put into evidence. And they stay in evidence until the case is closed, right? Exactly. What makes the papers so important? Apparently, Nico was very close to making his research public. The research was supposedly going to revolutionize the way power is created and delivered in this country. Well, the world, really. Victor wants the papers released before anyone else connects the dots. If it's such a big deal, how come he didn't go to some big private eye or something? Joe? Probably because Nancy's got a very well-deserved reputation of being the best there is. I'm sorry, Nancy. I didn't mean it that way. It just seems like a really big job. I thought the same thing, trust me. But he thinks because of my age, no one will suspect I'm undercover. I hope he's right. Oh, undercover. That makes sense. Cool. Keep us up to date. We'll do everything we can to help. Alright, so, um, those are the Hardy Boys. I think we can talk to them about a lot. Let's talk to them later on. I'll let you go. Talk to you later. In any case, uh, that's it. That is the end of the- Hey, text message. Deirdre, okay. Heard back about the 911 call. Guess who waited 30 minutes before calling in the accident? According to the time of death reports, Ellie, that's who. I wonder what she was doing, probably covering her murderous tracks. I mean, who does that? Stylishly late doesn't apply to 911 calls. And before you ask, that's all I know about this. Okay, so now it's the end of the video. Oh, oh yeah, and I forgot to pick up these things. Uh, these are the things you get for solving the book puzzle. We have uh, some sort of journal, uh, Nico's audio diary, and we have Nico's personal diary in which he wrote various things.